Yeah, I think we can we can get started here. It looks like we've got a, a solid amount of uh, people tuning in. Um, mm -hmm. We'll also we'll also be replaying this webinar on YouTube as well as in the community. If you want to run it back or don't feel like you need to take notes along the way, you can take your time with it. Um, we'll be sharing that likely tomorrow in the community. Another reason to join the community so you don't miss out on anything here. Um, and yeah, we can get started. So. I'm sure you all are here because you've you've seen the launch that we put out this week about our exciting new uh, Amplify It plans and our new distribution model. Um, before we dive in, we'll give you an intro to who who I am and who Anna is. I'm obviously I'm Nick. Um, I I work closely with our community of artists here at iMusician. Um, for some of you, you might see my face all over our YouTube channel where I've been hosting the iMusician show, um, where we give you kind of a music industry roundup uh, with me and my colleague Suzanne on a, a bi-weekly <coughs> basis, um, as well as a bunch of tutorials and guide videos to give you tips and tricks for navigating the industry with like Spotify for artists, Apple Music for artists, how to create cover arts, things of that nature. So we'll be we'll be sharing some links later on um, where you can find more info on that. Um, also a pretty big music nerd myself and it's something I think I share with Anna, so I'll pass it over to her. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Um, I know everybody. I'm Anna and uh, here at Ambition, I enjoy increasing operational efficiency so that uh, our artists are taken hand by hand uh, through their release journey and uh, that their music meets the platform's uh, quality standards. And then I'm also an artist photographer, uh, musician, and occasional DJ. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can subscribe to my website to receive updates about my. Um, uh, works. Back to you, Nick. Cool. Um, yeah, so backstage, like I mentioned, uh, Suzanne and uh, Jordan, I believe, might be back there as well, as well or tuning in. Um, yeah, we'll be answering your questions here, both Anna and I, but um, Suzanne is also here uh, to, to help us along and answer some few things. Yeah, there's Jordan in the chat. <laughs> nice. So yeah, again, team from all over the world. We're super happy to have everyone here. And um, yeah, we can get we can get moving as well. Um, we've got a lot to share. We're just going to do a brief overview of kind of the benefits of Amplify and Amplify Plus. Um, I imagine some of you have, have dove into it already and might have some questions there. We'll show you how to upgrade within your account and answer some questions about what happens to your existing releases. As I, I imagine most of you are um, have already released with us or are thinking about starting your first release. Um, so we'll explain what happens to existing plans there and we'll open it up to you guys, obviously, with the um, Q&A section, which I mentioned earlier. Again, if you if you want to uh, drop us a question, you can find that section down in the bottom right bar for this Zoom webinar. Um, let us know if you have any cues. We'll open up the chat a little bit later. Um, as well as we dive into it. And yeah, I'll pass it over to Anna to kind of give you a, an inside look into our app as well as explain some of the benefits of Amplify and show you how you can upgrade um, within your account. Thank you, Nick. I'm trying to share the right page. All right. Nice. So um, after this nice introduction, um, I'll be sharing now our platform and um, focus on the new subscription plans. Um, so um, this is our um, platform right now. Um, we've improved it a little bit uh, for the launch of the new plans. So now it looks really tight and clean. Uh, here is your, your dashboard. Um, but if you go to the library, you're going to see all your releases, tracks, artists, etc. The product page um, is here to show uh, our um, product that you can also get, artist hub, Mr. and Master in YouTube monetization, etc. The music analytics, we will dive into this uh, later and also in the revenue one uh, page, really interesting uh, changes um, for the plants. And here, um, that's the basically the section that um, it's important right now because it's the page uh, where you can manage your subscription. Uh, you can upgrade from here and also downgrade your plan. How to do that? <clears throat> you click on manage and you're gonna see this nice uh, brand new um, page where you have all the information related to the new plans. So here you have the yearly and monthly uh, options. So 
Now I'm seeing um, the yearly um, um, tariffs basically, um, but if I click on monthly, this is gonna change and it's gonna show me how much I'm gonna pay per month instead. Um, then what we have on the left side, you have all the available tools and um, features. And here you have all the different differences. So first things first thing to look at um, the commissions. As a musician, our goal is to let musicians thrive um, from the music they make with a low commission rate of only 10% uh, instead of 30, as it was in, with our um, former um, starter plan. Uh, you keep the 90% of your revenue, and uh, if one day you, you wish to keep a bigger part, you can simply sub subscribe and uh, pay less commission. Um, Nick, something important here um, about uh, withholding tax is also um, nice because unlike most of our uh, US-based competitors, we don't charge any hidden fees like withholding tax. So what you see here is just the commission. And um, you might be wondering what's the uh, withholding tax. Uh, most uh, US distribution companies um, charge withholding tax, which means that they keep 30% of your music revenue if you're not a US citizen. Um, and But we are a Swiss company and we don't do that. So if you go for zero commission, the Amplify Plus plan, uh, you will keep 100% of your royalties period. So that's one, uh, that's one of the benefits here as well. Um, what else? Uh, with, um, with Amplify Plus or Amplify, uh, you can deliver your release to uh, as many shops as you like, including premium stores, as a, such as Beatport, Traxos, Tidal, and uh, classical music shops um, like uh, Idajo or Prime Phonic. Uh, really important also, uh, the release date. The release date. With Amplify plans, um, you can uh, select the, the digital release that you want. So basically, this would allow you to wisely prepare your promotional and marketing uh, campaigns and pitch your track to official Spotify playlists uh, through the Spotify for Artists platform. Then uh, the, the, the region, um, you can easily choose the region or countries. Um, with Amplify and Amplify Plus, uh, you want your music to be av available in. And um, something really cool, um, the artist support. So um, up till, uh, like before the launch, uh, we were doing one-on-one uh, -on -one support via email. But now uh, we are building up our community on our new um, um, yeah, um, website. Um, and it's basically um, the personal support that you're gonna get with a free plan is happening on the community. And the cool thing about it, uh, Nick, do you have um, an example of- Yeah, I was just gonna, I was just gonna mention that. It's, it's been really awesome nice. to see not only like we, the, the support that we're offering there is very direct and you hear from our team members, but it's also an opportunity to not only engage with other artists that work in our community, which you can use as a promotional tool, but also learn from their experiences with their releases and have other, other artists pretty much answer, answer your questions because they've run into a similar, um, a similar thing when they're going through their release. So for, for instance, this one came through, which was a great instance of an artist having a question about um, having to pay for releases after subscribing to Amplify Plus. And they were able to get an answer from not only our uh, an artist from our community, but as you can see, we also have our CTO, Chris, chiming in at the end. You get to speak with mo mostly all members from our team here at iMusician, and we respond to you in a timely manner. So it, it's not at all that support is going away. It's more that we've We've enhanced it with the ability to interact with our community and we've actually seen artists uh, collaborate with each other within the community, uh, share promotional tips and tricks for ways to uh, get more streams and grow their fans. Um, it's been really inspiring to see the feedback already as we've launched this uh, just last year and um, a lot of questions being answered here. And obviously I, I can answer this question here as well. It's like, do 
if you still have to pay for releases after subscribing, we would like to point that um, our Amplify plans are in addition to our, our distribution model. It's, it's as always, when you distribute your music with iMusician, you only pay once to keep your music online forever with whatever plan you are on. And if you decide that you want to, you don't need to subscribe to Amplify or Amplify Plus to distribute your music, but when you do, you get all these amazing sets of tools, you can receive a lower percentage of your commission, and you can, un if you, you're not locked into our subscription plans. You can unsubscribe if you don't need the tools. That was the main, one of the main points of releasing this model for our community is we wanted to have a flexible offering so that you only pay for what you really need. When you need the tools surrounding a promotional cycle, you, you can subscribe. And for if, if you don't, if you find a, a point in your career when you're not needing the extra analytics or promotional tools like Artist Hub, which we'll show you here in a bit, um, then you have the option to subscribe, which is like we are mentioning with other distributors, uh, US-based or anywhere in the world, they tend to lock you in for life, essentially, if you want to have your music online. Because if you want to switch with them, you have, to really, you have to pull your music down from the platform and switch it over, which if you want to switch over to us, we have a video that will show you how you can do that if you're working with another distributor. But Again, yeah, it, the, nothing has changed with our distribution model except our lower prices with it, with distribution. Um, it's the same as it's always been, pay once and you're online forever. So you have the freedom to move about our Amplify subscription plans. Um, and yeah, yeah. I'll and the cool thing, of, <laughs> thank you, Nick. The cool thing about the, subs, uh, the subscriptions is that um, <clears throat> all the tools that are included are all valuable uh, tools that uh, basically will take you hand, hand by hand uh, towards the success uh, and uh, yeah, will help you basically boost your uh, career and um, add a lot of failure to your releases. So we don't just do um, music distribution, but we are adding really promotional tools, uh, features, and, and uh, we are also providing uh, with analytics that uh, Nick is gonna show you in a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of interesting in, interesting insight on how your music is performing and how to basically um, plan your marketing campaigns in the best way possible. So I uh, keep showing um, the page. Okay. Can you see it, Nick? Yes, you do. Okay, no, nice. Um, following up, um, so we have the promo tools, uh, as I was just mentioning. Um, with the new plants, you have um, access to an um, artist app, uh, which is basically a smart link with a, a pro uh, professional look of a mini site. And um, of course, uh, with the free plan, you get the artist app free, and then you have artist app pro and artist app pro plus, um, uh, which is basically uh, the last one is the advanced version of it, uh, where you can just customize basically anything, adding your uh, EPK and um, add your shows or next tour uh, dates. Um, and it's really powerful tool. It gives you really a professional look and um, I really love Artista Pro. <laughs> um, then as I was mentioning, um, the, um, the analytics um, also get uh, upgraded and um, Nick, do you want to tell us more about these two? Um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm happy to. Uh, I, I can show uh, show the background of it actually here. Um, yeah, so here is the what music analytics looks like when you upgrade to Amplify or Amplify Plus. And um, obviously I'm showing one here that has a fair amount of data. So you can see not only your stream performance, but you can really dive into individual track performance and understand like the, the insights of who your audience is, where they are, how they're accessing your music. And for, for, for us, it, it's, a, it's basically a tool so that you can fine tune your promo efforts to understand um, where and when to contact your audience, where they're listening to your music. For instance, here predominantly on Spotify and Apple Music, um, the sources and kind of where they're coming to. So you can dive into which shops are performing the best and why. So you can look into if you had a specific promo campaign launching uh, based around Apple Music, you might see a spike like you see here. 
you can see which countries your your music is big in for instance sweden or <laughs> australia or canada for instance like so then you can if you're doing a paid ad on social media or with google um, we also have some videos to show you how to do that um then you can understand the effect of that campaign and not waste money targeting um, countries and audiences that aren't going to listen to your music. You can you can target a, 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 um, a community in Sweden or Australia, for instance, that um, would be in a similar genre or listen to similar artists and save yourself money in the long run. So not only can you do that, but another element of music analytics that comes along is your revenue analytics that, as you can see here, um, obviously most artists out there uh, want to understand uh, the the money coming in and, and where and, and when. Um, and it gives you this breakdown of how you're earning money, whether it's through royalties or through downloads or YouTube content ID. Um, another element, I think I saw a question in the chat about YouTube premium. Oh, we'll dive in, we'll dive into that here shortly. Uh, content <laughs> ID is an element of that, um, which also comes um, with, is available with every plan. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see this, this overview of just, this really allows you to take control of the way that you approach putting your music on the platforms and have this 360 approach to not only your finances, but understanding your audience, which allows you to plan tours, um, understand your, your revenue and your royalties, as well as like the commission, depending on which plan you're on. Um, and all of this, this comes not only just with, it's not just this with Amplify and Amplify Plus, this comes along with Artist Hub Pro, it comes along with direct support, it comes along with more shops. Um, so it's really just, it's just one feature of these, but it's very powerful in terms of really taking your career to the next level. If you're, if you're moving beyond just putting your music on the platforms and are ready to start touring or promoting your music to the press, um, we can we'll dive into artist hub a little bit later but yeah that gives you a pretty pretty solid overview of one of the one of the uh, most exciting features that comes along with our subscription plans and um yeah, yeah exactly you don't just get the music out there but you really give it the the attention it deserves and um make good money out of it mm -hmm. at the end um just reading the chart Yeah, I would say um, I think that's that's unless unless Anna, you have anything else you want to you want to cover here, I'd say we we can open it up and start covering some questions we've been seeing here. Yeah, I mean the um, the managed subscription pay page is pretty straightforward. Like you have the comparison um, of the plans, so um, if you get questions, you can always reach out, of course. But yeah, I think uh, we can just open to Q and A. Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw one. I saw one in the chat earlier about um, it was Pro Unlimited tier um, mm -hmm. for artists that were subscribed to our Pro Unlimited uh, plans before. Um, and yeah, we wanted to clarify that Pro Unlimited is um, is staying in place as it is, and you automatically get all the Amplify Plus perks added onto your account. Mm -hmm. So as long as you continue um, being a Pro Unlimited uh, on the Pro Unlimited plan, then you will continue to receive those benefits. I see a question on promo credits. So promo credits um, <clears throat> uh, can be used uh, to pay for your uh, orders. So nothing changes that um, for now, but as usual, we um, try to optimize processes always. Mm -hmm. But yeah, promo credits, Phil, you asked for it. Nice. Yeah, there's another one asking, I think there's uh, some curiosity around what YouTube premium means and um, the YouTube support mm. that you get. Um, and basically, we have a direct a, a direct relationship with YouTube in terms of the, the support that we provide. And yeah. there's a lot of issues that come up surrounding metadata or the artist being on the wrong platform, a music video for the wrong artist, um, combining topic channels and official and official artist channels. Um, and it's really kind of this 360 approach to YouTube, which has become an, an, an increasingly powerful tool for music discovery for a lot of artists. Um, yeah. As for, for instance, if you're if your music ends up on the wrong profile or the under the wrong artist, or if someone if your music video is on someone else's profile or someone else's yeah. is, on, is on yours, then 
those are the instances in which our premium YouTube support would come into play. Mm -hmm. Not only that, Nick, but we also have, uh, you know, the official artist channel that you get the artist want to get, mm -hmm. and we also help uh, to get that a bit faster because, as you said, we have this partnership with YouTube, and uh, so we can help you really get um, an official artist channel, meaning merging your personal and your um, a YouTube music channel and have it <clears throat> and have uh, one channel for everything. So that's also uh, that goes through the uh, premium YouTube YouTube support mm -hmm. that is available with our Amplify and um, Amplify Plus plans. Yeah, and that, that like 360 YouTube approach comes in where if as, as soon as you start to establish your presence on YouTube with the official artist channel. Um, combining your topic topic channel videos in there, then you start to gain more subscribers, more views, and you can start to use YouTube as another another uh, revenue channel for yourself. Yeah. And so you start to mo monetize the content that you put out, as well as uh, implementing content ID for the music mm -hmm. that you're putting onto the platform. Mm. I also see questions about the custom labels we offer. Um, custom labels can be kept, of course, um, and um, Nothing will change to your existing releases there. Um, what else we can say? Mm. We still offer um, priority and express delivery for those mm -hmm. um, who would like to um, speed up the uh, um, distribution um, process, we still offer those for Amplify, Amplify Plus. Yeah, I want to point, I want to point out um, there is a question about uh, options for labels and it looks like Suzanne got back to it, but if you're, if you're on here and um, are distributing a large quantity of music uh, throughout the year, we have a, um, a, a a document, the document that you can fill out um, and we would love to get in contact with you directly as we start to uh, roll things out throughout the year. You can find that linked in the, the Q&A page. Um, I'm sure Suzanne can link it in the okay. chat again here. But yeah, if you are if you have high volume releases, we would love to, um, to hit you up and get in contact. Mattia, I see that you're asking for some Spotify specific offers or music promotion offers. What we do uh, in background for you is, um, in the background for you is that we um, make sure that uh, you get um, uh, on Spotify for artists well in advance, so then you can pitch your uh, tracks. Uh, so then you can uh, um, be in one of the Spotify playlists. So that what we can do for you. Um, Premium shops, never register. Oh, no, that's another question. I hope that, that I answered your question, Mattia. But yeah, we don't have the Spotify specific offers, uh, but uh, we do that for you. Like, we make sure that uh, you're, you you have the chance to to pitch your tracks, so we deliver things in advance. Um, um, I saw another question about uh, commissions and essentially um, downgrading from Amplify or Amplify Plus at a certain point. So. If you were to, for instance, if you're an electronic musician and put you want to want to use Amplify Plus to put your music on Beatport or Track Source, um, and then keep your Amplify Plus plan for a year, once you decide to downgrade, your music will still stay on those premium platforms. The only thing that will change will be your commission rate. So the commission would go down uh, or up to 10% from the zero percent commission. But if you wanted to switch back to Amplify at any time to ensure that you're you're retaining 100% of your revenue you would still be able to go back and and, and achieve that 0% commission rate in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think um I see Visham the the question about uh what happens to your features from Amplify or Amplify Plus if you stop the subscription and go to the free plan? Um, mm -hmm. It looks like Suzanne's on this as well. But yeah. uh, I think that kind of goes to the, the point I was just making about Beatport with the premium shops, label registration, official artist channel. I mean, your official artist channel, once you once you establish that on YouTube, you have that for 
in perpetuity. Like that's that's not it's an official artist channel is separate from the offerings that we have here. The service that we have is basically assisting you with with establishing your official artist channel, combining your content on YouTube topic channels um, all into one. And then once you have that, that's standalone from iMusician, like that exists on YouTube for yourself. And then the premium shops and the labels, like for instance, if you're on electronic uh, electronic platforms like Beatport or TrackSource, that all stays in place. The only things that will change when you downgrade is you would go from Artist Hub Pro Plus down to Artist Hub Free. So you would lose the ability to have a pre-save page but all of your, as well as the bio tour dates and basically all the bells and whistles that come along with Amplify and Amplify Plus. Um, I think once you experience Artist Hub, you'll, you'll realize the powerful ben benefits of it, of it basically being your own website, as well as an EPK that you can share with uh, media channels and get press. Um, yes. You can share it with people that you're booking tours with to kind of give them a rundown of where they can find your music. You can even show, showcase your tour dates, but that all would go away and you'd get, the only thing you would have on the you'd still have all the artist hub capability but you won't have the pre-save pages if you downgrade to our free plan with one single smart link all of that yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah also music analytics and revenue analytics give you like a bunch of data that you can use to really level up your music game, as we like to say. Mm -hmm. So, um, I see another question know? about uh, the Amplify Plus. Um, if you have an Amplify Plus user, can you add him in his catalog to the label plan when you make it? Again, that's something that's just come, that's coming that we're working on uh, this year after after this rollout. So. Um, once we get in touch with you after filling out that form that I believe Suzanne, mm -hmm. Suzanne shared in relation to the size of your catalog, the artists that you work with, the genre in which you distribute, um, we'll be able to provide a more comprehensive answer there. Yeah, more questions that we can answer. Um, I see a question about music syncing and will there be an option for sync music in Netflix cinema and TV? So mm -hmm. we actually, we, we've been creating a bunch of content around sync licensing on what it, what exactly it is, how you achieve those placements. Um, there's a video that we put out on our YouTube channel. We also have a blog and a guide that walks you through basically how you might get into contact with the people that do uh, music curation for those shows. Um, I'm not sure, Manfred, how familiar you are with that process, but if you want to dive into those, we'll be sure to share uh, links. If not here, then then we'll share them in, over in the community when we do the replay uh, tomorrow. Um, we have nice yeah. blog articles on that on the website, right, Nick? Ex exactly, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I'd be happy to follow up with you in the community in regards to um, some recommendations for people you can reach out to on how to get... Uh, get into, into those uh, Netflix <laughs> Netflix shows as, as becoming increasingly popular as you've seen with with Stranger Things and a lot of these kind of older yeah. legacy acts going viral by just one song placement. So good question and definitely something to keep on your radar for 2023 as, as sync placements are becoming more prevalent for um, indie artists and more available. Um. In the last webinar, we had questions about classical releases and why they are only on the Amplify um, plant. Maybe I can try to answer that even here. Um, classical releases, as you know, they have a lot of uh, weird or kind of difficult metadata. And uh, yeah, we need to make sure that um, behind the scene, uh, we clean everything um, and we send the right metadata to the shop shops. So there is a lot of work to do behind that. And that's why we decided to go for, for um, uh, to have, uh, you know, to, to distribute classical releases with the Amplify plants. Um, there's a lot of operational um, activities to do. So that's why. Same for uh, electronic releases. 
Um, we have to contact the labels and uh, sorry, we have to contact the, the, the shops and, and register the labels and center us. So there is a lot of work forth. That's why they are on the Abify plants, Abify plus. Um, yeah, I see another another question. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, talking about larger releases. Um, maybe that was a little bit ago, and we and we answered that already. But uh, you mentioned that they were on the biggest subscription before, which I'm assuming was our Pro Unlimited plan. Um, again, if you're if you're subscribed to Pro Unlimited and uh, have been in the past, and you continue to renew, you will you will keep all the existing benefits that you that you paid for originally. It's it's the same with any of our releases. If you release with us before, you pay for what you, you get what you paid for. Um, and if you, again, if you're on Pro Unlimited, then you automatically have the Amplify Plus set laid on top of there. Um, if you're not a Pro, if you weren't a Pro Unlimited user before, again, I, I, want, I would like to point to that survey that Suzanne shared and you have large release volume again we would love to uh get in touch with you as we start to uh put uh that plan together this year um and it looks like so manfred asks do i uh if you pay a yearly subscription and upload my music is it forever um i think yeah I guess if you downgrade, yeah, good question, actually. Yeah, so if you if you choose to upgrade with Ampl or use Amplify Plus with your distribution plan, again, for instance, I'll use if you're distributing classical music or electronic music and you distribute to a premium store, you only pay once to keep your like you only pay for your distribution once to keep it online forever. The subscription plans are in addition to your distribution. So if you if you unsubscribe from Amplify Plus or Amplify, your music will stay online forever. Again, unlike almost every other distributor out there, you're locked in to keep your music online. So if if you want to distribute your music with someone with someone else and you pay for a plan and you decide that you don't want to keep paying them for the rest of your life, then you would need to take it down and your music would come off of the store. With us, you have the flexibility to move around with the Amplify, Amplify Plus plans or down to the free and your music is online forever. So you can you have the freedom to choose. You can again, you only pay for what you want with the Amplify plans. So you can decide if you want Artist Hub or Artist Hub Pro. You can decide if you need to dis distribute to um, premium shops like Beatport Track Source or distribute in the classical genre. Um, that was the main intention: is to provide a more flexible offering to the large community of musicians that we work with. one what else um yeah does anybody else uh, have any other questions out there it looks like we've run through the whole q a section as well as in the chats um yeah we will absolutely have a recording of this webinar we'll be sharing that in the community um i believe sue shared a link for the community it's just community um .imusician.pro. And uh, we'll share that there. We'll also probably put it up on our YouTube channel. So again, if you weren't taking notes throughout all this, you can take your time and go back through it. And if you're joining us in the community, watching it again, you can interact with us in the thread. And honestly, Anna or I or anyone else from our team will be able to interact with you uh, on the fly as we're in there. Yes. Yeah. And yes, Phil, we're gonna uh, record this and publish it on our YouTube channel, if I'm not wrong, Nick. Mm -hmm. Correct. Nice. Yep. There we go. One, another reason to join us over there in the community. Yeah. Yep. Another question coming in. You can really basically ask anything in the community. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of decisions like you. Yeah. With and discover and discover a lot of great music over there. We love yeah. we love hearing uh, all the music coming out of our community. Yeah. Um, all right. Looks like somebody's typing another question. There we go. Great. So music without pauses between each track, are you I believe that might be in reference to kind of like a DJ mix style mm -hmm. of an album. Um I don't foresee any issues with that. Um Anna, I don't know if you could speak speak to that question. Um again, that sounds like 
that's a more case to case basis exactly. thing in, in, in terms of what the what what platforms you're distributing to and what style of music it is what genre um, you're working in and again it sounds like yeah it's very it's very specific so i don't think you can share share links to uh the music here so if you want to uh hit us up in the community we will be happy to dive yes. deeper into that on a specific basis and walk walk you through how you could distribute your your music with us and what issues you might run into yeah or if you want a uh, one-on-one um support you can subscribe to amplify and get um emails from our team and be a bit more specific there i would also suggest that and ask you know depending on your needs ask um what are the options for you when it comes to music without post poses? Mm -hmm. And see, it's pretty common on on Spotify. And honestly, you see a lot of a lot of uh, producers putting out uh, these kind of mixed albums yeah. that are that are that are other people's tracks that are just smooth transitions all the way through, Some... or specifically with 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 ambient releases. Um, a lot of electronic yeah. releases have the kind of mixed format, so it's very common. But you just have to be um involved when you're when you're putting it out yeah. there through our distribution yeah um yeah again if you if you want to connect with us for more information about the the questions that we covered here today join us in the community um we'll we'll hop in we, and obviously we can address in a bit more direct matter on like case-to-case -case basis for more more pointed questions like that um specifically around electronic music classical releases and yeah hopefully everybody on this uh on this <laughs> webinar will be joining us over there Absolutely. A big, <laughs> big toast to Mr. Jeff Beck. Uh, we were blasting his music here in the yeah. office today. Um, very, very sad news, but definitely rinsing, rinsing his catalog this evening. So shout out, <laughs> shout out him. <laughs> Any more questions? <clears throat> yeah, community is the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we love we love Jeff Beck. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I think that 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 about covers everything I'm seeing right now. And like I said, uh, thank you everybody for the input and joining us here. Uh, we're going to be doing these webinars a bit more frequently moving forward. So if you're anywhere in your release journey in the coming months or are looking to distribute a, a large catalog of music as a record label, again, we, we'll be there to answer your questions. Um, and yeah. Join us over there in the community. You can rewatch this webinar. You can get in touch with Anna or I directly or Suzanne, who's backstage. Thanks, Sue, for covering all the questions in the chat. And um, yeah, we hope to see you next time. Thanks, Anna, for, for joining me. Thank you, Nick. We might be doing more um, webinars in other languages. So yeah, stay mm -hmm. tuned. Yeah, great. See you guys. Ciao.